Aleander is, in many ways, Luther's opponent in this. I'm the papal nuncio who's dispatched from Rome to bring Luther to trial. And to begin with, I think that it's going to be relatively easy. I think that Luther will probably give up immediately when faced with the power of Rome. And Luther doesn't do that. And so it becomes increasingly difficult for Aleander and it becomes increasingly frustrating. But even though they're opponents, I think that Aleander is not a spiritual man. But intellectually, I think he agrees with a lot of the things that Luther's saying. But he comes to different conclusions. I think for Aleander, he sees the church as really being the only instrument of social discipline, of social cohesion that's available to society. And without the church, he thinks that society will collapse into anarchy. And so for that reason, I think Luther's very, very dangerous. And uh, that is my reason for wanting to stop him, despite the fact that I probably agree with a lot of Luther's opinions about the corruption in the church and that sort of thing. He's a very ambitious man, he's a very confident man, and I think that Aleander would like to have seen himself as the man who's going to reform the church. And it doesn't happen. Luther's the man who reforms the church. So I think there's a, there develops throughout the film a degree of personal jealousy for Luther. The fact that Luther can command this adoration and this love. And uh, Aleander doesn't really command anything. So I think there is a sort of, uh, there is a personal antipathy towards Luther as well as an intellectual one. Eric has a wonderful ability to create an atmosphere which is very relaxed. I think this is probably the most comfortable I've ever been on a film set. Everyone feels very calm, everyone feels very confident. He just inspires confidence in the people around him.